Hello, my name is Gary. I'm here in the Philippines to welcome the Nokia Lumia 1020 to the Philippine shores. This is our newest flagship device right. from Nokia and uh, we are here and we're delighted to be able to bring it and introduce it here tonight. So this is the Nokia Lumia 1020. Supposedly this has the 41 megapixel a big sensor camera on the on your Windows Phone device right here. That's 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 what I'm looking at right here, right? That's right. So we call this the imaging super phone. Mm -hmm. You can see here that the with the Lumia 1020 in the design, the back is the new front. Mm -hmm. And we have got on this new back on the camera assembly. Firstly, a 41 megapixel second generation backside illuminated sensor, mm -hmm. um, which is then underneath it you will see then there is also the second generation optical image stabilization system okay. utilizing ball bearings <laughs> to actually make sure that the sensor is rock steady right so the, hands the uh, image stabilization you started out with the Lumion 920 that's right and uh, I believe you evolved it for the 925 and then um, this one is the the latest version of the it. latest version that's yeah. right and um, Obviously, this is the first one with a 41 megapixel for the Windows Phone uh, OS, right? That's right. So it's got a 41 megapixel sensor, mechanical shutter, and you have got the xenon flash here for good low light photography. Right. And the LED flash here for video good and low light kick. Right, right, right. And this whole thing together is a brand new camera assembly from a hardware perspective that we're introducing with the Nokia Lumia 1020. Right. So the 1020 has. Uh, Obviously, an HD uh, display right on front. That's right. Um, similar to the 920, right? Yeah, but we made a couple of changes here as well. So the screen has been updated to Gorilla Glass 3 now. Nice. Which is, makes it even tougher, complementing the very nice solid polycarbonate body. Mm -hmm. And when you open it, of course, you've got the very familiar Windows Phone interface. This right. is running with the Windows tiles. Phone 8 with uh, the Lumia Amber, Amber update, update to it. Yes. That's why we have got the um, home sc glance screen uh, capability. Right. And if you scroll down here, you will see you know, the usual um, live tiles that you have on this uh, particular uh, phone. But the magic really happens in the software on how we bring the hardware to life. Yes, uh, you we do have a new camera app, right? That's right, we have a new camera app called the Nokia Pro Cam application. Mm -hmm. And we really believe that the Nokia Pro Cam application is going to change the way we are going to be able to take photographs. So the first thing that you see on this is that there is a bar at the top, mm -hmm. kind of like a status bar of all the settings of a camera. Right. Very, very familiar for, for those people who utilize point and shoot cameras yeah, and as well as the DSR like that, yeah. as well. But what, where the magic really happens is the ability to control all these settings. Right. And you do that by using this dial here. So of course you have, just like on a DSLR, you can actually flick it between video and, and photos. photo mode. Right. But you can also pull it out and that actually introduces you to mm. all the manual setting rings. Mm -hmm. So you can change things like exposure, the ISO settings, the white balance settings, and even the focal length of the device. So a lot more flexibility with... Total granular manual control. Right, right. Something that you only see on DSLR cameras, mm -hmm. but never on a smartphone before. Right, right. And the great thing about this is that you get immediate response to actually what the, uh, what's in the picture. So if you look so here... you can actually see what, what the changes you are that's making, right. right? So I'm pointing here at the wall behind mm -hmm. me. But if I change the exposure value, which is the first ring, you immediately see what happens to the, the, the photo behind you. Mm -hmm. Then you can change shutter speed, you can change the ISO sensitivity, nice. you can change the manual focus, so right. you can either so, keep the manual, the, the front part in the, the shot or the back part in the shot, giving you a so very that's, nice that's bokeh That's a big thing that. because sometimes people are focusing on things that are in front of them, but that's right. the camera is focusing, things, focusing on the back. That's right. right. Yeah. And then after that, um, we have got the white balance here, which you can actually change it mm -hmm. from, you know, the, the, the color cloudy, temperature. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you mess everything up, just one flick resets everything nice, back to normal. Nice. And then, of course, the other way that you can do it to focus is you just tap on the object you want to focus on. That will yeah, also focus, focus on that. Yeah. yeah. But the great thing is that what you can, the magic happens after what you do with the photo after you have taken it. So I have taken a number of photos here. I'm going to my photo gallery. Sure. And I want to show you a few photos that I have taken here in my, uh, my phone. So I'm just going to jump into my photos album here. And so I, are you using the Windows Phone OS? It's that's very right. fluid, yeah. Um, so you can see here that I have got a whole bunch of photos that I have taken. Now, well, I wanted to show you one of the, the, the pictures that I have taken. So this particular picture is the word men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, not a very interesting photo, although <laughs> if you look at it, you can actually see the texture of the wall and everything. Yeah, it's it. very detailed. Yeah. 
But if I open it inside ProCam, I want to show you what you can actually do in terms of a technology called capture and reframe. Okay. So on this button here, it's a reframe button. You can actually hit this button. So, so this was you, taken with the 1020, right? With the 1020, just a, just a minute ago. Mm -hmm. And you can actually zoom out. You can actually see that this is actually, a, 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 this was the original picture that was right, taken. Right, right, right. But I've kept all that image data, which means I can now zoom back in into another part of the image, like Ron, and I can actually save this as now my new 5 megapixel image. So that's nice because sometimes you take a picture you don't actually know that there's something going on on the side. Exactly, that's right. And uh, if you can reframe, you can actually capture that that's thing right. happening on the so side. We encourage people with this, it's going to change the way you're going to take photos. You're going to just keep taking photos the whole day long. And you can then go back in later on when you get home mm -hmm. and you can then reframe your shots. Right, and right. because you you've got 41 megapixels of data, even the reframe shots are going to be crystal clear. Right, right. So those 41 megapixels, you can actually still use um, a technology called PureView, right? It's uh, interpolation, right? That's right. So even if you're using just a 5 megapixel long shot of it, it still uses all 41 megapixels because the algorithms of the application means that it combines up to 7 pixels mm -hmm. to create one perfect pixel which is then presented to you as a final shot. Right, we right. We call so this technology oversampling. Oversampling, there you go. Um, so actually that's very nice and that's that was similar to the uh, 808 before. That's right. Uh, oversampling because uh, it's taking like 7 pixels extra and then smooshing that together. Correct. Making an 8 megapixel shot. The or... difference between the 808 and the 1020 mm -hmm. is that you now have the capture and reframe capability. Right. Plus, you have got the granular manual control of right. the camera, right. which was not present in the 808. That is true. Plus, on top of that, we have also introduced the mechanical shutter as well as the optical image stabilization. So you're guaranteed to get the shot in any lighting condition. Right, right. So that is the Nokia Lumia 1020. It's got, a, I believe, a dual-core processor, right, at Qualcomm? That's right. And so it's uh, got a Qualcomm dual-core processor, 1.5 gigahertz, mm -hmm. two, mega, 2 gigabytes of, mem of RAM, yes. 32 gigabytes of storage, mm -hmm. and of course you have got the Imolet Pure Motion HD Plus uh, screen here, yeah, very dis Gorilla very Glass nice 3, very display. nice bright uh, mm -hmm. display. And of course the, uh, the body, is it... How big is it? it like, um, so it's a 4.5 um, inch um, display, display right. and the body is just 10 millimeters thick. So it's not actually very thick even though it has a really nice camera on That's the That's right. So we wanted to really keep the form factor thin so that people will not think twice of making this their phone and keeping the phone with them at all times. Alright, so that is the Nokia Lumia 1020. When is it going to be available? For how much? So the Nokia and Lumia 1020 is going to be available here in the Philippines from the 11th of October and it's going to be priced at 35,650 pesos together with a free camera grip that right. is worth so that is 4, an attachment, right? 4,000 pesos. There's an additional attachment which allows you to then have one-handed shooting right. with a tripod mount. It gives, you, it gives you a nice grip on the side. That's right, a nice grip on the side, tripod mount, extra battery, right. two-stage mechanical shut, um, you know, um, Another shutter button. release button. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And that's going to be bundled free of charge for 4,000 pesos. So I just want to encourage everyone to go try it out at your nearest Nokia store or anywhere that sells good smartphones and really see how Nokia Lumia 1020 can change the way that you're going to capture those moments, be able to edit those pictures and really create mm -hmm. the stories behind them and then share it with other people. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it guys, see you next video.